Psalm 23 The Lord is my shepherd my channel and welcome to today's living mana episode 8 today we have mr wiketo joe as our speaker who will share us the word of god from psalm 23 the lord is my shepherd i believe this is one of our favorite psalm and even though we have heard so many times and we have been reading this psalm listening to today's message you will learn so many new things there are only six verses but our speaker has so beautifully gone in depth and explained within short time so please watch the video till the end and i thank you all for watching all the videos in the days past for your love for your prayer for all the comments please continue to do so if you're watching for the first time my channel please continue to watch and the subscribe button so that you can get notification whenever i post any video and please do like and do share so that we can reach the word of god 
to others too especially at this time when we need to encourage one another so without taking much time i want to welcome our speaker and the time is all yours friends today i want to take you to psalm 23 and i'm sure as we go through these verses your heart will be blessed your spiritual life will be strengthened and you will be greatly encouraged according to the author of psalm 23 there is going to be a coolness one had to experience in life the hardship the difficult moments the failures that we have to endure in life according to the author it seems like everything was going against him yet in the mix of all the disappointments hope was coming on his way better days were ahead of him and this give us a lot of uh, hope even today for the believers verse 1 talk about the lord is my shepherd shepherd will always protect and always provides for the sheep and especially those who run to the shepherd he will always provide what they needed it must have been the darkest hour of david when he admitted the lord is my shepherd in verse 2 he went on to express by saying he makes me lie down in a green pastures we know that hungry and unsatisfied sheep will never go to sleep by any means they have to be fit lightways there are so many areas where we find ourselves where we are empty where we are lonely where we are unsatisfied it is only the good shepherd who can lead us to the right places and satisfy our needs he will always lead the sheep to a certain locations where there are lots of green pastures and he will satisfy let us follow his leading to be satisfied by his goodness and he went on to talk about he leads me sheep have a poor eyesight therefore they have to be led all the time this is why even in our christian life when we follow his leading he will always lead us to the right place to the right people and glorify his name he makes me lie down in green pastures and he went on to talk about quiet waters we know that sheep will not drink from a very aggressive running water from the river instead they prefer uh, to drink from the water from the plain area where water is clean and pure this is why you know we know that uh, drinking pure water it's important because when they do so it keeps them away from unnecessary disease this is why you know even in a christian life clean environment is uh, needed so to say our friendship with people whom we can grow together in christ where we build one another and we continue to encourage our relationship with Christ this is why clean environment also is important for the believers where we discipline ourselves continue to grow in Christ he went on to talk about he restored my soul ships are not very smart animal they can be in the mix of plenty of resources plenty of waters green pastures and still wander away endlessly until they have nothing to eat or drink this is why the quotation says the grass is always greener on the other side 
This is the picture of the believers. We can be in the mix of plenty of resources. You can be receiving a lot of blessings, blessings in your life, yet wandered away from the presence of God. This is the picture that has highlighted in Psalm 23. Spiritually, people are like sheep. Isaiah 53, 6, we have gone astray like a sheep without shepherd. That's what it says. This is why sheep has to be restored. Likewise, even in our relationship, when there is a brokenness, when there is a distance, separations from our Savior, we need to restore those broken relationships once again. He went on to talk about the value of the shadow of death in verse 4. There is called the value of the shadow of death in Palestine, beyond the hills of Jerusalem. The shepherd has to lead his sheep to the mountain area because when there is a scarcity of green pastures in a plain area, he had to lead his sheep to the better pastures. That's where they get themselves into a trouble because they have to cross through the valley of the shadow of death. The robbers and wild animals, the predators will hide from the bushes or from the caves and suddenly they will attack. Even in those moments, the shepherd will always, you know, protect his sheep. Likewise, there are places, there are circumstances where uh, it doesn't favor us sometimes. But even in those difficult uh, times, trials and temptations, God is always there to protect each one of us. And we know that sheep is a very slow animal. It cannot run away from its predators. They easily become panic and they will run one after the other. And even, you know, from the cliff, they will jump one after the other and they will die. Therefore, without the presence of the shepherd, it is always a danger or a tricky for a sh sheep without the presence of the shepherd. Likewise, when we are not led by the Spirit of God, we put ourselves into certain temptations, into certain areas where we are vulnerable to temptations. That's where we need to keep in our minds that we have to discipline ourselves, always to follow His leading. And he went on to talk about he prepared a table before my enemy. In an ancient uh, Near Eastern culture, if you are invited over a dinner or a lunch, it is always a responsibility of the host to protect you. The only thing that you have to do is you just have to enjoy the meal. It is the duty of the host to protect you. So whenever food is provided on the table, you just have to enjoy the fellowship. This is the picture of the Christian today. That when we are totally depend on our shepherd, we just don't have to worry at all. We just have to enjoy our relationship with God and give thanks to Him for all the protections, for all the cares, for all the guidance that He had led us thus far. And we have to be grateful for all the good gifts of life. He went on to talk about, you anoint my head with oil. You know, whenever there is an injury mark in sheep, the shepherd will always apply the oil to the injuries part and that serve as a agent of healing or whenever the shepherd applied uh, oil to, to the body 
it keeps them away from unnecessary flies. There are injuries, there are past memories that hurts us. But when we expose ourselves and allow uh, ourselves to be anointed by our shepherd, he heals our injuries. And he, he went on to talk about the goodness and love of the shepherd. The altar David was all enough, who had encountered tragedies, disappointment, failures in his life, yet refrained back to when everything was all right, when shepherd was protecting and caring uh, for his sheep. We know that he was heartbroken, longing for care and love. In Psalm 20, uh, 51, do not cast me the joy of salvation. Even he went on to the Judean desert and say, my soul thirsts for you in a dry and a weary land where there is no water. Now the picture is becoming clearer. He just wanted one thing in his life, that is the goodness and the love of God. That's where it reflects even our own spiritual journey with the Lord. That in the mix of all the hardship that we go through, in the mix of all the disappointments, it is the goodness and the love of God that is sustaining us. And as we go through this Psalm 23, may the Lord bless each one of us richly and help us to look unto his provision and help in times of our needs. Here we come to the conclusions that he provides all our needs, the green pastures, the clean water, the oil man that uh, heals our injuries. And as we look unto his faithfulness, may the Lord bless each one of us as we continue to walk with him. And may the goodness and the love of our shepherd be with each one of us, even as we go through this challenging time at this moment. May the Lord protect you and protect your family and may the uh, the love of God be with you and all. Thank you for your patient hearing. I am so grateful that you have given your time for this hearing. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Vico, for the wonderful, challenging and reminding us of the word of God, the tune of Samis, where he has pointed out the need for us as a sheep lean on to the sapphire. May God bless all, continue to watch and I pray and I hope that God will provide all your needs, God will walk with you as you even walk to the valley of the shadow of death. Know that God is there and may He deliver you from whatever situations you are and may He give you a heart to delight, to rejoice and may goodness and mercy follow you all the days of your life and may you dwell in the house of the Lord. Thank you all. God bless you all.